All I heard out on the street today was how sorry everyone feels for Silda Wallspitzer. Call me a bitch, but I'm not sorry. I'm angry. What was Silda thinking, standing by her man at his apology press conference on Monday? I'm not gonna say that I know what she should do in her private life, in her marriage. That's for her to deal with. Call me un-American, but I'm with the French when it comes to politicians and their extramarital affairs. But what pisses me off is how the wives of American politicians behave in public in the aftermath of a sex scandal. From Hillary to Suzanne Craig to Dina McGreevy and now Silda, the one thing these women all seem to have in common is a need to put their political partnership above all other considerations. Like acting like a normal human being. Why couldn't Silda just sit the press conference out? What would be the greater political harm? Did she really think her appearance there would keep Elliot in office? If I just stand here for this one excruciating minute, everyone will think, hey, if she can stick with him after what he did to her, maybe the rest of us can tolerate him as governor? I say, stay home, Silda. He met up with Kristen, the $4,000 hooker alone. Why not let him give his plastic political apology alone too? The worst thing about this whole situation is that she'll claim, as Hillary has many times over the last few years, that she maintained a stoic public presence for personal reasons and for the sake of her family. Does anyone actually believe this? If I really wanted to prove my courage under fire, I think I'd spend the day of the press conference visiting underfunded New York City public schools with my kids. Now that would take some strength. It pained me to watch her standing there, eyes downcast, silent. That's not stoic, Silda. It's not heroic. It's just plain weak. Silda Wallspitzer, Harvard graduate, lawyer, activist for children's issues, and poster woman for everything that's wrong with the roles women play in American politics.